Welcome to Solving with AWS Solutions, your deep dive into reference architectures built by AWS that are ready to deploy instantly in the cloud. I'm Ashley, and I'm joined by solution developer, Lalith. Today, we're going to talk about the AWS Network Firewall Deployment Automations for AWS Transit Gateway implementation. Thanks, Ashley. Security is a top priority for all AWS services and features. This solution saves you time by automating the provisioning of centralized model to inspect your VPC to VPC traffic. Sounds like we have lots to explore. So let's dive in. Lalith, tell me about this solution. How do we get started? So you start with the landing page. All of our solutions have a landing page, which helps you set up a, which provides you an implementation guide. It also provides you a basic information about the solution as well as an architecture diagram. Now, if you want to dive deeper, you can look at the source code, or if you just want to launch the solution, you can just click on, on launch here and it will deploy the solution for you. Perfect. Can you tell me how it's architected? Sure. So let me walk you through this. As part of the solution, we deploy a, a DevOps structure for you or infrastructure for you. There is a code commit repository. We use code pipeline as a target for that, and the computer is being done in the code build. Once we deploy the solution, um, the inspection VPC gets deployed for you. The pipeline, when, when executes, validates the example configuration, which is stored in the code commit repository. And the, the network firewall endpoint is created for you, and all the network plumbing is also done for you. So it's as easy as just click and deploy, and the pipeline will take care of setting up a basic default pass all policy. Are there any other things that come with this, other services? Yes, yeah, so you can, uh, of course, uh, by default, we, we encrypt everything with the KMS key, which is also deployed with the solution. I am roles uh, to, to use um, for specific actions. And then you also get to choose which destination would you like to choose for your network firewall logs. If you provide a transit gateway um, ID that you already have, then we also plumb your inspection VPC with the transit gateway so you can just start monitoring your network. All right, so to get to that point, after I've actually deployed it and I want to start monitoring my network, can I play around with this without impacting my network first? Absolutely. So if you do not provide a transit gateway ID when you deploy, the solution will deploy and deploy pretty much everything except that the, the existing network that you have, you see here, your transit gateway will not be attached to your inspection VPC. Perfect. So tell me about updating my configuration. How would I do that? Let's, let's, let me walk you through that. Perfect. So in the code pipeline console, as you can see, when the pipeline executes for the very first time with, with the default configuration, the pass all policy is, is reviewed in the validation stage, which is where if you modify it in future, we will make sure that there are no errors, the JSON structure is intact. And in, in the last stage is where we deploy all, all the configurations. Uh, your firewall endpoints are being created, your network changes are being done, your, your policy and rule groups are also being, being created. So if I'd like to update my configurations, how would I do that here? That's pretty easy. Let me take you to, to my um, console. So I've already set up this, this environment. So out of the box, you can see the firewall configuration is already uh, set up for you with all the, the protections deployed for you, right? But if you want to change any any uh, of these configurations, you can easily do that. You can, you can, if you wanted to change any of these properties, it's very easy to just change it and then commit that code. Now, the policy, as I mentioned earlier, is pass all. Um, so this is out of the box configuration, as you can see. But the key thing here is we also provide an examples directory inside your uh, example configuration. In this directory, you will see all the examples that you can use to modify your default configuration. OK, so tell me about the rules. So if I wanted to import, for instance, my existing Suricata rules, is that possible? Absolutely. So let's say you have you have multiple Suricata rule files, right? So let me walk you through quickly an, a sample policy here. So this sample policy shows you that you can set up a stateless rule groups. You can set up stateful rule groups as well, right? In Inside your stateful rule group reference, we want you to, to create a certain um, structure for your Suricata reference. And then once that path, so the, the, the automation will take care of finding this file and applying those changes as part of the, the API calls, right? So let's quickly go to the Suricata reference. Once I open that file, you can see that you can set the capacity, you can set your description as you prefer, but you, if you already have a, a rules file that you're already using, 
you can reference that here and store that. Just don't forget to, to store it here because if you do, the validation stage will find the error for you and tell you that you're missing a file. So here is a, a sample Suricata file for you. Um, so if you already have a file that looks like it, you just have to copy paste it in here, store it, and then just commit that into your configuration. The pipeline will take care of the rest. Oh, sounds pretty simple then. <laughs> yes, it is. What value does this have for businesses? So what we wanted to make sure that you get the, the, the benefit out of this by not doing much when you want to deploy a network firewall in your, in your environment, right? We wanted to make it easy for you to just launch and rest will be done for you. But also thinking from a perspective, of how would you continue to manage that firewall, right? You, you get to centrally manage your network. Your configuration lives in a centralized uh, location. Um, you you you're able to provide to audit and track the changes, right? So the version control that Git provides here, the DevOps workflow will will take care of the rest for you. So as a business, you will be able to do all of this with just a few clicks. I love the simplification of this. Thank you so much for showing me the solution today, Lala. Thank you. Well, there you have it, the AWS Network Firewall Deployment Automations for AWS Transit Gateway Implementation, a solution that helps you automate and manage your network's firewall configuration to filter your traffic. Check out the solution and many more on the AWS Solutions website. Thanks for watching.